hot chocolate time. For real though, I got in a fight with my dad today. He's easy to fight with because he's old and white and thinks he knows everything. And you may be wondering why an adult woman is having a fight with their dad. <laughs> it's like, it's tough when you have to deal with misogyny in the world, in your job, like every fucking day. And then just like the littlest comment from your own family members is just like, you can't teach them. That generation doesn't want to learn. They don't want to know. They're like, we're almost dead. Leave us alone. And I get that. I mean, I think you could teach an old dog new tricks. The dog just doesn't want to. Pretty sure my dad has Asperger's. So when I ask him to explain something to me, he gets frustrated. Like, I don't understand why, how, why you don't understand this. And I'm like, because I'm not the girl with the dragon tattoo. I don't like memorize coding and no complex mathematical equations. I could just ask him to do math and he does it on his head. I mean, in his head. And what I have found out, I mean, granted at the end of the night at work, I'm really tired and out of it. I have to do math, just your standard addition and, and subtraction. Like, I think I forgot how to do subtraction. If you borrow from a number, does the number, so if you, oh, I can't do math. He memorized a college math book when he was in the fourth grade. Why couldn't I have gotten that gene? I mean, now I'm just like, socially awkward and weird and still not good at math. I don't know if other people know that I'm socially awkward. I have a theory that like everybody is weird and awkward and just some people notice and some people don't. Cause I've talked to people out who are like super cool. I've realized like, wow, you're incredibly boring and you just won't stop talking so even though you're cool you're not realizing the social cue of the fact that i am like so done listening to you. i've been checked out for like a, a, a while now yeah i don't i don't know what you're the origin of mezcal, I'm, I'm not interested. Nope, didn't listen when I had to learn it at work. Definitely not gonna hear it from you. Thanks though. Telling me all the people you're friends with. Is that really a conversation? Like, oh, I know this person and I know that per It's so LA <laughs> I to say you're friends with these people that you've like met one time for five seconds at a party. You're like waiting in line behind them in the bathroom. You're like, oh, my best friend. Okay, I consider a best friend somebody who I would die for. So I have none, just kidding. <laughs> I have like three. Asperger's dad says that life is harder for women because of their hormones. That's why we have it harder. <sighs> I just, Oh, what was I supposed to say to that? That is so fucked up. Man, that's definitely why it's harder. It's definitely the hormones. It's our fault, really. I mean, it's just like sad we can't control them. And then I uh, got really mad and went to the gym. And I like to do this thing where I am running and I just imagine myself like in an obstacle course, running through things. And then at the very end level, I'm... I also have like super strength, like Buffy, because I wanted to be realistic. I couldn't really be somebody in an obstacle course as myself because, well, maybe, maybe the obstacle course part, but not the boss level. And the boss level of this fantasy that's going on in my head 
is that I'm in a boxing ring with whoever I'm angry with at the time. And I actually beat them up so bad that I have to be pried off of them and I win. So it's really very therapeutic. It really pumps me up and it makes the cardio just fly by. Highly recommend. People say that cardio is boring. I'm like, you have no idea how much was accomplished during my cardio, seriously. I just leave there. I, I wonder what expression I have. Probably none, probably no expression. You would never know what thoughts you are interrupting if you talk to me, but nobody talks to me at the gym anymore. It used to happen a lot. I don't know, I guess I'm just putting a different vibe out these days, but now to, I'm meeting people up in my head vibe now. I got invited out tonight and I almost went. Um, I wasn't gonna wear this. Don't worry. I look like I'm like working at a bakery. Hello, we have fresh baked muffins for you. Do you want a muffin? You need it. With blueberries and love. Got invited out, but then before I left, they told me that they had entered a pool tournament. And so I said that I couldn't go because I just feel like watching somebody in a pool tournament is like the bar equivalent of a ramp tram. And I just can't put myself through that anymore. I just can't. I just, I, I don't even really want to be there in the first place. So you give me like the tiniest reason not to go and I am back in sweatpants, man. So fast. I mean, a lot of relief actually swept through me. When I got that news, I was like, oh, can't go. It's a slight inconvenience. I'm out, fuck that. Sometimes I feel like I have to be a little bit more, what's the word, of a bitch. Because people aren't listening. I took a bath before this, so I had to wash away all this bullshit. The weird thing about having dyed orange hair is that every time I take a bath and wash my hair it looks like I'm just bathing in piss it's like yellow it's very unsettling the water in my apartment is like scary it gets so hot that you can melt your skin off like if I ever want to know what it feels like to be a crab at a restaurant I can what a way to go